So it's a very rare admission, in fact. Boeing CEO Dennis Mullenberg has finally acknowledged that the flight control system on the 737 MAX 8 may have caused two fatal crashes. The Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 in March and the Line Air Flight last November. 364 lives in all were lost in just two crashes. Expressing his sympathies for the families of the victims, Mullenberg said that the Boeing was making fixes to the plane's anti-stall system, which is suspected to be the reason behind the two plane crashes. Boeing also acknowledged that uh, one more technical issue, which is calling it, in fact, minor, he said that the company was working on a fix for it too. The full details of what happened in these two accidents will be issued by the government authorities in the final reports. But with the release of the preliminary report of the Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 accident investigation, it's apparent that in both flights, the Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System, known as MCAS, activated in response to erroneous angle of attack information. The history of our industry shows most accidents are caused by a chain of events. This again is the case here. And we know we can break one of those chain links in these two accidents. Now, this is the first acknowledgement from uh, Boeing that there are uh, clear safety issues with its 737 MAX 8 model. The initial report on the Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 crash says that a pilot error is unlikely to have caused the accident. It adds that the pilots followed all necessary procedures. Instead, uh, the plane's anti-stall mechanism, or the MCAS, is under the scanner. The Boeing has said that a software update is needed to remedy the fault. Pilots have told us erroneous activation of the MCAS function can add to what is already a high workload environment. It's our responsibility to eliminate this risk. We own it and we know how to do it. From the days immediately following the Lion Air accident, we've had teams of our top engineers and technical experts working tirelessly in collaboration with the Federal Aviation Administration and our customers to finalize and implement a software update that will ensure accidents like that of Lion Air Flight 610 and Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 never happen again. In the Lion Air crash, the Boeing 737 MAX dipped more than 20 times due to the faulty anti-stall sensor before crashing into the sea. Boeing claims it knows how to fix the problem. It had said that the same thing, in fact, after the Lion Air crash. Yet, five months later, the Ethiopian Air flight still crashed in fact a scarily similar circumstances. And the other issue, too, is uh, both airplanes uh, had a single point sensor, the angle of attack sensor, on the left side of the airplane that in both cases appeared to have failed uh, catastrophically. Ethiopian even more, more extremely than the Lion Air uh, angle of attack sensor. Uh, and I think one of the immediate fixes is to deal with that single point sensor, the, the set of information that has such a profound effect on the performance of the airplane.